in compound redox we are just taking the half reaction every time an oxidation is accompanied by a reduction in nature you do not find just half reaction happening half reaction is always accompanied by another half reaction reduction is always accompanied by oxidation oxidation is always accompanied by reduction but here when we are talking about compound redox i am going to show you how to find out n factor for a half reaction which is such that if a reactant undergoes you know it it is forming if a reactant is forming products and let's say it's forming two products let's just assume there is one reactant which is forming two products b and c and we see that the reactant is forming two products and there is oxidation only happening a is giving you b and c a to b oxidation a to c oxidation so we are getting this kind of a redox so do you understand it's just ox it's not red but for simplicity we just call it half reaction of redox so if in a reaction more than one element undergoes oxidation or reduction it is said to be a compound redox so reactant giving you products both products are getting oxidized from that particular reactant or both products that are formed are reduced from the particular reactant so that is what is a compound redox the half reaction is what is being considered example makes it crystal clear so let's see look at this very carefully we have iron oxalate giving you fe2o3 so iron is in plus 3 state the oxidation state of iron is plus 3 so we get ferric oxide and carbon dioxide let's see iron in the reactant it is plus 2 let's see carbon in the reactant please see i can write c2o4 two minus i can write it like this 2x minus 8 is equal to minus 2 i can write it like this 2x is equal to plus 6 i can write it like this x is equal to plus 3 so carbon is in plus 3 state now let's look at the products products plus 3 here oxygen is oxide only minus 2 only in carbon dioxide x minus 4 is equal to 0 so x is equal to plus 4 now let's check what's at play what is it that is so special about this kind of a compound redox look at this plus 2 to plus 3 iron plus 2 to iron plus 3 oxidation what about oxalate iron c2o4 to minus 2 co2 what about this look at this from plus 3 to plus 4 again oxidation loss of electron so the reactant is undergoing oxidation it is giving you two products the one particular compound in the reactant is giving you two products and both the two reactions involved in this half reaction is oxidation now how to find out n factor for these kind of critical cases what do i say plus 2 to plus 3 the difference is 1 since iron is 1 so n factor of iron oxalate like i told you is n factor is found out with the help of an atom but is found for a compound so for n factor of iron oxalate should have been 1 because one iron is present so difference is 1 into the number of atoms of iron which is 1 only so 1 should i call n factor of iron oxalate as 1 or should i call n factor look at this plus 3 to plus 4 difference is 4 minus 3 that is 1 but two carbons are present so n factor of this oxalate ion is 2 so what should be the n factor of fecto4 iron oxalate 1 or 2 who wins you can't do partiality that hey one iron should be the winner or oxalate ion should be the winner you can't do such kind of a partiality to find out the n factor of the compound you have to add the n factors okay 
because both are involved in changing the oxidation state so what do we do for these kind of cases you simply add the n factors like this so n factor total is n factor oxidation 1 plus n factor oxidation 2 if two products are formed which are both oxidized but if both are reduced then you add the n factors similarly and find out the n factor of the compound overall so n factor out here comes out to be so from plus 2 to plus 3 n factor of iron 2 plus is equal to 1. n factor of oxalate ion C2O4 2 minus is again. Difference is 1 into the number of carbons are 2. So, n factor is 2. So, n factor total should be n factor of iron 2 plus going to iron 3 plus and n factor of oxalate which is going to CO2. So, we get 1 plus 2 n factor of this kind of a redox comes out to be 3. First thing is, you knowing that here, what kind of a redox is involved, compound redox is involved and then finding out the n factor for these kind of redox, you simply have to add the n factors. Very commonly asked in NEAT examination, if the edge has to be given, a twist has to be given. Right? If psyche has to be tested, then this is a wonderful question. 